Previously on T-Man 978. Here she is with two other female Autobot Masterpiece cars. And like I was saying about how they could have changed the molds with Road Rage right here. They definitely gave her more cylindrical legs than Trax head. And the chest part right here is way more smooth and, and kind of separated almost in a way to insinuate cleavage. T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Right now we're going to be taking a look at X-Transbots Master Series number 86, the Shock Trooper Fast. But we know this as Transformers Decepticon Run Amok, if, unless I got the names mixed up. <laughs> but here's this. Here's what... That says, let's zoom in on there if you can read that. Here's this. They got the Stunticons back there. Now, first impressions of this is it's way better than the Stunticons. And here's their cross sale, their version of um, Ratchet that they're coming out with. This review is brought to you by... Matt McCardo, my good, good, good friend. He is super duper awesome. He let me borrow a few of his robots and you're gonna be seeing robots for the next few days. Oh, I just noticed that. They're in front of the Statue of Liberty. That's awesome. Inside of that box, Fast is encased in a styrofoam packaging, much like another company. But um, you get this credit card quality collector's card Right here with that same bio, I believe, and his stats right there. You get an instruction booklet that's in color. I mean, oh, Takara told me doesn't do this, and they charge a lot. You also get this, which is telling you how to safely rotate this. I don't know if this is all necessary, but there you are. Now, when it comes to transformation, I am going to be doing that in a separate video, T-Man 978's How To, like I've been doing for things that have a lot of steps. I do not want to make 30 minute videos, or at least I hope this one ain't. But here we are, we see that he is this vehicle right here. It's mostly realistic looking until you get about maybe right here, where none of that is like tailpipe detail, but it still looks good. I like. The rims it has rubber tires or a, it's made out of a substance that feels like rubber. You can open this hood up right here. And it does have something in there that resembles an engine. I don't know how accurate that is, but it's nice. It's made out of like I don't know. I think the paint is in it. It's just a pearlescent plastic if it's not fully painted. And of course, the um, windows are translucent except this right here, which is actually painted. But it's painted, painted all around. You got the details you, you want and need. The door opens up right here. Now, the door does feel flimsy. It's typically on some of these things. There's some part that feels lighter than other, but it's heavy and has a lot of weight to it. You gotta like push down on this and pull out at the same time, which is a bit difficult to be honest. But if you do that, oh no. Here we are, we have a seat detail. Let's see if I can, yeah, there we are. I didn't realize this got pushed down when I was doing this, but. There we go, that seat detail and a steering wheel, and you can't see out the windshield, but at least they did it. Going above and beyond, because I like y'all today, I tried to get Spike in there. This is Spike that comes with Masterpiece Bumblebee, and that's a little figure. He can't fit in there. His head has to come off in order for him to fit in there, which is unfortunate. Here's that same Spike standing next to the vehicle. And here's Big Spike, which came with Masterpiece Hound, which I always say is more probably an accurate height. Here is the weapon stored under there already. And I gotta figure out these lights come up. I'm gonna need a spudger or something. In lieu of me being lazy, if you open the hood up, 
and push down right here, bam, you don't need this butcher. So I can stay sitting in this chair. Hallelujah, thank you. There you go, you're welcome. You can of course push it back down, but I believe that's the last thing I need to show as far as him and his actual features. The only thing to do now is compare it to you another masterpiece scale vehicle and there you are this is reboots from transformers masterpiece which is a small car and guess what lucky y'all i have prowl already transformed so here is prowl next gen they are pretty much the same size i don't know the accuracy you, you worry about that because I'm not but basically I like this um, only issues I'm having is the doors don't seem to shut as flush as I would like and uh, aesthetics we got this going on right there but for the transformation they came up with uh, okay, what, what you gonna do and I'm noticing that it has a gas cap on both sides is that accurate or yeah. uh, I don't think that's probably accurate <laughs> but whatever it's nice all right here's fast and robot mode and he is very impressive to be honest it feels tight it doesn't feel riggedy it's clean as crap like the only thing that's you can consider kibble would be these panels right here on the back of the feet which don't necessarily act as heel support. His heels is the wheels actually. So you gotta make sure you have him at the right right angle or whatever to be standing up. But he looks good. Here is the face. Looks like what you think of when you think of run him up. It was like he's one of the few robots that has an actual nose and the mouth plate is just covering the mouth and not coming up covering half of the nose like Optimus Prime would do. But it's a nice clean white robot, pearlescent white. Um, the only thing that gives me a little bit of pause is seeing the windshield right here on the back. Like normally I'm used to this bonnet covering the back, but you know what? Let's look at cartoon images if if we can of how he would look from the front and how he looks from the back or whatever here is his weapon looking like this <laughs> there is a hole in the barrel but yeah same gimmick as always all the fingers open and you rotate that in there to put it in the hand. And the hand wraps around. Great, good. But he has excellent articulation, except the head. He can look down a lot, but he can't really look up at all because it's bumping into the sculpting right there. It can rotate, it can kind of tilt side to side, but the shoulders has several joints. This joint comes out, but this actually moves independent of that. And yeah, because of this, you can't really get it up past 90 because it's gonna bump. It rotates right there and you get a butterfly joint. So that's cool. It bends 90 degrees at the elbow and swivels. The wrist just rotates and you've seen the fingers move in. And the wrist can't go in like that because of transformation. The waist rotates, the waist, he has an ab crunch, it can crunch a lot. <laughs> um, when you go back, you might have to squish the body back and I just separated his front from the back. But um, he can kick back that much before you're bumping into anything. And then you can kick up more than 90, which is awesome. You have thigh rotation. These have to get pulled out before you can pull the leg out, which I always hate that. But you get double jointed knees and the ankles are on infinite articulation. They do 
all this all the way around because of the tag on transformation. You get a lot of back, you get a lot of forward if you use that joint. So we don't have to worry about nothing there. Now, aesthetically, I don't really like this stuff hanging off the back and I definitely don't like this piece right here, which looks completely unfinished. Um, check out my transformation video so you can see how you actually even get it there. And the knees, because of this hinge, you might have to like rotate it back or forward depending on how you like it. But he is crazy posable, crazy dynamically posable, which is awesome. Hey, I knocked this guy completely out of whack when I was using that ab crunch. <laughs> but if you get things going the right way, you should be able to get him into a good pose really quickly. Like being able to have the ab crunch and the double jointed knees and the feet that do whatever, you should be able to get whatever kind of pose you want. Um, things that hinder like when you have the ab crunch engaged like depending on how you have the legs you might not be able to like right now i can't move this leg forward because it's bumping into his waist right there so but you can work around it to try to get whatever pose you need but i like him he is very very good i am impressed and shocked like he is far better than the stunticons to me in my opinion well he's better he costs slightly more than them they were definitely budget figures well let's get us an autobot out here i still have root rage in here from the last video i did with the masterpiece style figure and Road Rage is kind of a tall car bot. So he's taller than she is. Well, there you are. So that would be taller than the Dotsons and all those people like that. Here he is next to you in an MP Optimus scale, which is like nine or so inches, nine and a half inches tall. And here he is next to you, like a Voyager class figure. So there's that. So end of the day, final thoughts. I really like this thing. I am very happy with it. This isn't my figure, but if it was, I would be completely satisfied. Um, only things I would change, wish list. I love it when the figure can actually look up, especially if they have an app crunch. For whatever reason, when I've been messing with this one, using the app crunch, it doesn't bother me so much. He can look up enough. I uh, did I mention double jointed elbows? I definitely wish I had double jointed elbows. I mean, I can still do good things with it without it, but yeah. And um, the feet, I, when I'm messing around with it, I don't look at this so much, but I still wish that transformed different. It looks like when you're transforming it that it should go this way and clip in underneath of here but it doesn't like i feel like they planned that but they couldn't figure out how to do it so i don't have a lot of complaints with the robot mode just wish list because it's still good but anyhow i'm gonna have a review for fury at some point i gotta actually mess with him his transformation is slightly different but um, yes, yeah, stay tuned. And I have some other Transformers. Thank you for watching. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click. Click the videos, you should really click these videos, click, click the videos.